Hello, it's Dan DeLuca, and you can find me online at my blog on dandeluca.com. Today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to get more engagement and attention from your marketing. And I was I just got these tips from a wake up call that I was on with a system that I'm a bit, um, I'm associated with, and this guy, this master marketer, his name is Ron Gielock, and this guy is really killing it out there. And he just laid out like seven tips, and he took about 30 minutes. I, I'm not going to do all seven of them. I'm going to hit some high points and then uh, look for another live or maybe a, fa a post somewhere with all of them on that. But I want to give you some of the high points here to get you some, give you some ideas this morning because these are some really great stuff. These are really working because Ron, who is uh, you know a master marketer, is this is what he's doing. So. The first thing is when you're, and this is all about like how to write a post or how to create a video like I'm doing right now. And so you want to, here, uh, so here's a couple couple points to, to make. They're not all of them. But again, you want to start with a, a either like a big claim or a promise like I'm going to help you get these massive results and that is in order to get people like you to listen. So I'm going to give you some tips on how you can get more engagement with your posts or videos or however or, or podcasts even, right? So and these tips, if you follow these tips, you will get more engagement. You will get people following you, liking you, wanting more from you. And that's what it's all about is to create a fan base here so that people get to, can get to know you, like you, and trust you, right? So this is more of like a direct response approach. Like if you're looking in a magazine, you remember magazines, where you'll see a big advertisement, except it'll look like an article, but it's actually an advertisement. And they'll say, you know, get rid of all the of this by doing that kind of thing so like really big headlines a big promise it grabs your attention and it gets you reading it so think of how you can do that now you don't want to overdo it you don't want to exaggerate you want to be able to actually produce the result or provide whatever it is you're saying you're going to provide but make it bold and big so another option instead of a big claim or a promise is to put out a challenge or a problem statement. So what is your target audience struggling with? What keeps them up at night? You want to post, that's your headline right there, you know, like learn how you can pay off your mortgage, okay? Make enough money to pay your mortgage every month for that, for, you know, something like that, something big and bold, but it's, it's, a, it's basically a solution to the problems that your target audience is going to have. It could be how to get five to ten leads every day with only 20 minutes per day of effort. Giving you, people giving you their phone numbers, their emails, and their name, right? That's a, a big, that's a problem for a lot of online marketers is how do you do that? How do you do that automatically? How do you do that without spending a whole lot of time? So there's a challenge or a problem. And then the other side of that is what will happen if you don't fix it? So what's going to happen to you if you never get another, you know, what's going to ha how is your business going to work if it takes you five hours a day to get one lead? Okay, so something like that. Another way to pose your problem, this is tip number three, is to set up an us versus them kind of situation. So uh, somebody owes a lot of taxes, right? Well, what's going to happen when the IRS comes to get you? What's going to happen when the IRS sends you that bill? Okay, so make up something like an us versus them and then create you know create that enemy and then set yourself up as the friend of the of your audience and you're going to help them get get something over on the enemy so let me just take a look here at my notes now is the time to make the change what will happen if you don't do it now so if you don't start getting leads today how is your business going to go if you care about building your business, you will get 
my training on how to get more leads every day in less time. Right? You will. And somewhere on this post, right now I'm live, but somewhere on this post is a link to a training that you can get on how to get leads, more leads every day in less time. Dig it. Check it out. And create urgency. So at some point, I'm going to take that post down. I'm going to take that link down and you're not going to have access to that anymore. So get that link and get watch that training today. Okay. So the next thing, the next point is uh, when you're creating a post or talk, even when you're talking to a prospect live for this one, is killing objections. So it takes a little forethought. You got to think about what are the objections that could come up to your product, your service, your offer? What are those objections? And then state them up front before your prospect has even thought of them or even spoken them and then answer those objections right up front immediately. You know, I don't have the time, I don't have the money. Those are easy ones. Well, you can learn how to do this in 5 you can do this in 5 minutes a day. Or in two hours a day, you can generate 10, 10 leads and talk to them and show them your presentation. Okay, so state object. I, I don't have enough money. Well, actually, it doesn't cost anything to get started with me. How about that? We're, let's go, right? What That blows that one away. Or I don't know how to do it. I will train you how to do it. You can start learning in 10 minutes a day. We will have an hourly training every week whatever you know think of the objections answer them up front this just lowers resistance it shows the people that you are talking to that you're thinking about it that you know what you're doing and it gives them the sense of confidence in your ability to be successful and in your ability to help them be successful okay and so this is my last tip and you you got to have this on everything. If you don't have this, then then everything else you did, it's kind of worthless. You must have a call to action, and not just hey, if you like this page, like it, or if you find value, which I'm guilty of doing. What you really have to do is tell people what to do. So, right now, if you want to find out more about me, a if you haven't already, like my fan page on Facebook and the link will be in this post this post might be on Facebook but you might also be seeing it on YouTube or my blog so go to my Facebook fan page and like my page so you can get updates on more of this B find the link to subscribe to my live feeds to get notifications when I go live and click that so you can see when I'm going live and third if you want to find out more about how you can generate leads and make more money with your network marketing or your online marketing, find out about the system that I'm using, find the link in this post for that. So there's three things you to for you to do right now. Click, click, click. Go ahead and do that now. And I will see you at the top.